Hello again. We're going to be looking at um, the perennial political questions. And by perennial political questions, these are the questions that all political thinkers and philosophers have thought about since the beginning of time. Every single one of the philosophers we're going to be looking at in this course will be dealing with these uh, issues. In fact, anybody who's ever discussed uh, politics generally has had to deal with these issues whether it be contemporary political struggles or something that was um, argued over 2,500 years ago. The first question that people ask themselves before they begin a discussion of politics is, um, they may not ask themselves this explicitly, but they have certain assumptions about human nature. And usually it, it goes along a, a continuum between um, uh, those people who believe that people are basically good but um, corrupted by their environment or those people who believe people are basically born evil and the only way um, that uh, they, they can possibly um, be improved is um, uh, through um, restrictions by the government basic human nature is not going to change so they tend to put a lot of emphasis on law and order to restrain man's most evil impulses um, we, we, these assumptions come into every political discussion um, for example um, you might be discussing the issue of, um, uh, of uh, gay rights and the big divide on gay rights is between those people who believe that a gay person is born that way and therefore they cannot change and those people who believe that uh, gay people actively choose make a choice to be gay in which case um, if, if it's a question of choice then uh, people are more apt to say well um, you've choose, chosen to engage in an activity which a lot of people find abhorrent. Uh, you can be trained out of it or you can receive psychoanalysis or something like this. However, if you're born into it, then um, um, society uh, owes it to you to um, uh, make sure you're treated equally with everyone else. Another question is uh, the issue of the source of crime. What causes people to do bad things? Well, some people say it's always due to the environment. Uh, people grew up in poverty. They grew up in, with inequality. They grew up when they're, um, where they're taught that uh, having material things is, uh, are good things, uh, are good for you. Um, therefore, they're trained to be selfish and greedy. The inequality of society causes people to be selfish and greedy and, and um, uh, uh, competitive. Um, in a more egalitarian society, by contrast, uh, people would treat, live in harmony and justice and, and there would be less competition for uh, good things. Um, er uh, another way of phrasing this issue is, is our, are our natures um, determined by um, nature or nurture? Uh, uh, another way of putting that is, um, are, are people born the way they are, or um, is it due to their upbringing? Um, for example, uh, somebody who's a super achiever in college and gets very good grades is it because they had a good upbringing and uh, lived in uh, luxury or had a soft life and uh, therefore since mom and papa pay for their education uh, they had advantages or are the people who do well in college tend to be the people who are uh, more disciplined by nature um, and uh, who work hard to try to achieve something maybe not by nature maybe they just train themselves to be high achievers so if 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 success in life is due to um, 
the way um, just due to um, arbitrary things like your culture, your social background, that sort of thing, you seem to have left less rights to your um, the benefits of success than you would be if you had to work hard to achieve these things. Um, so the issue of nature versus nur nurture is an issue that we constantly <gasps> debate because it, it affects how, uh, the, what we consider to be the fairness of life. Who gets what? And um, are poor people the way they are because of, of um, they're lazy? Or are they poor because society is uh, defective in some fundamental way and has forced these people to behave uh, this way? Uh, now moving on to question uh, two is what is just justice? Um, uh, as a person, um, well, justice is one of the f fundamental issues of our um, society. Um, we um, tend to um, think, uh, uh, well, when we think of justice, we everybody thinks of justice. And, Anytime we have to deal with the issue of allocation of, of goodies, even in this class, you're thinking of justice. You're thinking about how grades will be allocated. Uh, will they be done arbitrarily based on whether the professor likes you or not, or will they be done based on the contributions you make to the well-being of the class? Uh, should I take one's social background in consideration in allocating um, uh, grades? But um, we, we argue about this issue all the time. Uh, President Obama once recently said, um, well, you didn't make that. Um, others made it for you. If it wasn't for society, you wouldn't have achieved anything. So in his uh, philosophy, you don't deserve the fruits of your labor because you didn't really make that. It was society that made it for you because they created roads and schools and, and, and uh, things like this. And others would say, no, that's not really fair. It is true that society provides um, certain benefits and advantages, um, but um, the difference between people who succeed and fail, fail in society is frequently due, their, due to their own uh, hard work and efforts. Uh, what do we mean by justice? Well, justice involves a kind of same, um, equality. Uh, we like to be treated about the same. Um, there is something there that uh, make uh, we really resent it when somebody gets more than we do, if indeed um, we did the same amount of work. Uh, so. Um, for the most part, we, we like that, though in uh, cases of affirmative action or food stamps or something like this, we believe that people who have been disadvantaged by life need to be helped. That is, the least advantaged people need to be helped by those uh, most advantaged. So uh, we, we kind of um, uh, play around or are more lenient with their uh, definition of justice, depending on uh, the circumstances. Um, so, uh, okay, let us stop at this point, and then um, we will start num on number three for next time. Bye-bye.